Hi, so I want to show you how to make a VM, in this case a SUSE Linux VM, SUSE 12 SP4 using ESXi 6.7. So ESXi has come a long way, this is a VMware host, and they now have a web interface, so I'm using this thing on a local network here without internet, without internet access, but it'll work for this little demo. So let's make a VM here. And for that, I think we right click here and do a create VM. And we'll make a new VM here. Let's find SUSE Linux. I'm going to call it SUSE Linux. SP, let's see, SUSE 12. Let's capitalize that. S U S E 12. SP4. All right, so that will basically describe our VM. And let's make it Linux. Let's make it SUSE down here at the bottom. Uh, a SUSE Enterprise 12. There it is right there. All right. Do a next on this. OK, so I have some storage in this thing. Let's um, carve out a bit for our VM here. I think that's fine <clears throat> for this thing. I'm just going to be doing some some uh, hardening on it. So that should do it. I'm going to connect the image on here, which I uploaded to the system. So the SUSE ISO the image, we have to get a hold of that. And that's going to be right here. Once we have that, we can pretty much power this thing on. Although I don't recall making any storage. I think I only have 16 gigabytes in this thing. Um, let's see here. Ah, I didn't use any space here at all. So let's edit this. Storage, hard disk, 20 gigabytes. Okay, I put that in there. I think it should make it. There it is, 20 gigs. So I think we're ready. <clears throat> Let's do a double check, make sure our CD is on here. Our ISO image is, uh, is on this thing. Do an edit. CD, drive, ISO, file. It wasn't connected, it's connected. ISO file. It's not showing me the files here, which is disconcerting. Host device. Okay, I want files. And how do I see those files? Oh, there it goes. DVD1. I'm not sure I love this interface there. Finally, it'll give a flash up here. Drive one. No. OK, well, let's turn it up. Let's see if we have this thing. I did select the file, so let's see if we have it. There it is right there. OK, ready to go. Powered on. There we go, power on right there. Boot from disk, that's fine. Let's do an installation on it.
Okay. Can I go next here? Let's see. Not yet. I didn't give this much memory or many cores, so maybe that would have helped to speed up the installation to give it some more cores and more memory. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot slower with one CPU. Accept that, accept that. Next. Network settings. That's fine. Host name, I'm going to call it the Susie. Susie 12, maybe. Assign host name to look up IP. That'd be good, actually. All right. I don't really have any DNS in my environment yet, so just going to go ahead with this. Okay, I'm not going to register yet. Skip that. I don't want any add-ons. I don't want downloads either. I guess I can't undo that. Default system is good. Partitioning will take it as it is. And that's correct for me. Other settings, what else can we do in here? I could use an NTP, but I don't have networking running, so that's fine. All right, let's go back. Let's see, back, back, back. Eastern's good. Put in my name here. Put in the username. Put a password. All right, so install this thing. I don't really want K-Dump. Okay, well, this will take a while, so. This is how to install SUSE Linux 12 SV4 on VMware. This will take a while. Maybe not. I should really be using Docker with this, set up Docker, set up Vagrant. I should probably make this thing into a, um, a Docker container. That might take me a while to figure that out. So I plan to do hardening testing on this thing, which I did earlier this week. <clears throat> I'm trying to set this up on a different server. And what I found is useful is I can do a snapshot of this thing and then harden it and test it and then I can revert the snapshot back to the original installation. So that's probably what I'm going to do here on this ES ESXi instance for hardening testing on this system. At any rate, it's a nice day here in Massachusetts. It's Saturday and it's a clear day. It's probably not very warm out. Yeah, the best way to have this thing running would be to have a Docker image. I can just use Vagrant and do a Vagrant up and run this thing. I don't really have that working yet. 
I haven't packaged this thing yet, and I don't want to use a um, a vanilla image from Susie or from anywhere else, as that would not really be a secure image. I have no idea how it was made, so I want to take the vanilla Susie from uh, Susie itself from their DVD one, and then containerize that. So waiting for this to be installed, and then I'll make a snapshot. Actually, though, since I'm going to use this, use this with Puppet Server, Puppet Enterprise Server, before I make a snapshot, I'm going to install the agent on this thing, the Puppet agent, so that I can always reconnect to my Puppet Server for doing repeated hardening runs with Puppet. So that is the soup du jour today. All right, looks like this is almost done. It seems like all Linux distros build the kernel in the very last step where they futz around with the kernel and everything in the boot directory. And then FSRD and all that stuff. I think these guys do it the same way. Yep, there's the boot manager coming on. All right, let's reboot it, okay. And there you go, <clears throat> Susie Linux in all of its glory. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope the um, the text wasn't too small and it was useful. So thanks for watching and have a great day.